Once the specimens come in, uh, after we do a heat inactivation phase to break the viral envelope, they're gonna get they get centrifuged right over here on the specimen prep table. We put them in racks and then they are ready to go. This is our liquid sample sample handling. Uh, what this allows us to do is uh, allows us to process a high throughput of samples accurately and precisely. Most hospital labs uh, or even research labs are doing this process manually, which is what is taking such a long time for these tests to happen. Uh, we have another phase after this extraction is done that we're going to add our primers and probes, that, which helps identify this particular virus. And then we bring them, if you'd like to come this way. This area is a, is a much cleaner area, so I'm, I'm not going to let you step too far. But these devices over here are our real-time uh, thermocyclers. This is where real-time PCR is occurring. And this is where we're getting the, the detected, not detected for this particular virus. Every area is dedicated and has dedicated equipment to ensure that we don't have any type of cross-contamination, uh, whether it be from samples, reagent, uh, or personnel.